briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, the Supreme Court heard the case Kimball v. Marvel Entimet, LLC, which centered on the principle of stare decisis, stating that courts should follow precedent unless there is a very good reason to change it, even if the precedent is incorrect. The dispute involved Marvel, a company that marketed a toy similar to an idea that Stephen Kimball had patented. Kimball met with Marvel to discuss his idea, but the company began marketing a similar toy without compensation. They eventually settled the lawsuit, with an agreement that Marvel would purchase Kimball's patent for a lump sum and royalty payments with no end date. The Supreme Court reviewed the case, focusing on whether Marvel could charge royalties for a patent after it had expired. The court upheld the previous decision, Brulot v. Thies Co., which prohibited this practice. Marvel had used Brulot to nullify a key part of the agreement and avoid paying Kimball royalties after the patent's expiration. The court recognized the limitations of the Brulot decision based on an old and disproven economic theory which interfered with contract negotiations. Despite acknowledging the outdated economic theory and limitations on contract negotiations, the court still upheld Brulot, citing the principle of stare decisis as stronger. The court noted the negative consequences of Marvel's use of Brulot as a default rule and advised against relying on it in the future. The dissenting opinion in the case argued for reconsidering and overturning the Brulot decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.